Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. The paper I've chosen today is 2023 November Paper 3. So we'll look into the web page here. Let's begin. You have been supplied with the following source files. So in your folder provided, make sure you have all the files listed here. Let's begin with task one. Task one is your evidence document. Create a new word process document. Open a new word document. All right, there. Make sure that your name, center number, and candidate number will appear on every page of this document. So it is either a header or a footer. Insert tab, I choose it to be on the header. And let's add in our candidate details there. Name, center number, followed by your candidate number. Okay, now let's save this document in the work area. File, save as browse go to your work area found i mean find your folder and with the file name n23 evidence n23 evidence underscore your center number underscore your candidate number your center number underscore your candidate number save save it as word document all right, so you will need this later. Now, task two, file management. Create a new folder called TGS. So in the folder that have been provided to you, you will create a new folder. Create folder or you right click new folder and name it TGS. Okay. Locate the following files and store them in your TGS folder. So these files, N23 feed, N23 feed, N23 giraffe. Uh, you can move it one by one or together. Okay, when you're selecting, you click on, uh, you press the control key on the keyboard and click on the file. And then N23 head head sorry n23 logo n23 text and n23 tgs.css make sure it is the css file css okay the other one is an excel file not that so you highlight all of these either you can cut and paste them or you click and drag it to the TGS folder. It moves inside the folder there. There you have it. Okay, now display the contents of your TGS folder showing the folder name, all file names, file extension, image dimensions, and file size. Okay, go to the, click on the view icon here. Mm, choose content. Okay. So that shows all the details of the files. Take a screenshot of this folder and place this in your evidence document. So take a screenshot of this. And place it in your evidence. I name it to be step one, paste it in your evidence document. Okay, now let's continue. Task three is web page. You were working as a part of a team of web developers at Tawara Web and have been asked to create parts of a web page and edit a style sheet for a local giraffe sanctuary. The web page and style sheet must work in any browser all color codes must be in hexadecimal. Remember this throughout the paper. Make sure that your style sheet contains no HTML. Make your HTML and style sheet as efficient as possible. Okay, let's begin. Create in your TGS folder a web page. Okay, now let's open. I'm using Dreamweaver. Open Dreamweaver. Uh, they're asking you to create a web page. So create new HTML. And then let's save a, okay, design. 
Let's save the file first. The file name is TGS and it has to be in the TGS folder. So file, save as, go to your TGS folder. And save it as TGS. Here you will just type the file name, not the extension. Okay, do not type in the extension there. File name is TGS. Save. Okay, now next, this web page must be created using a single table and work in all browser. The table must have a structure like this. So this is how the table should look like. So let's design the table first. Insert tab, go to insert tab, table. Okay, now we need to know how many rows and columns we need. So columns, one, two, three, rows, three again. Three rows and three columns. Mm, let's fit the table width to be 100% okay let it to be 100% because I think there's no table width mentioned here so far there's no table width so let it to be 100% and then click OK make sure your table is aligned to the center and now let's design the cells the first column cell A is one cell so highlight the first column Let's merge the cells. Right click, table, merge cells. There's no dimension specified here, so just leave it. The next cell, cell B, is merged again. So highlight cell B. Right click, table, merge cells. And the other cells are not merged, so just leave it. Save your file. Place in cell A the image N23 giraffe. So place the cursor in cell A, insert image. Make sure you're choosing it from the correct folder. Your picture has to come from the correct folder. And choose a picture N23 giraffe. Yeah. Okay. And you will have to provide an alternate text to all of the pictures you add in here. So we will name it giraffe. Okay, there you go. Next in cell B, N23 logo. Okay, cell B is here. N23 logo. Place the cursor in cell B. Insert image. Logo. There. And name it logo. Alright. Next. In cell F. Image N23 head, cell F is the last column, last cell. Place the cursor on the last column, last cell. Insert image, head, and name it head. Okay. Okay, add appropriate alternate text to all images. This is done already. Use inline style attributes to make sure that the logo fits the full width of cell B. Okay, cell B is the logo picture. So it has to fit, you have to use an inline style attribute. So split the window, click on the picture, click on the picture and split, split this window. So it shows you the mm, place where the coding for that picture appears. It highlights and shows you. So we don't need the width and height there. Highlight it and you will delete it. Okay, let's delete that and then add in a space. They are asking us to add in a style. So type ST, it shows the style. Use the arrow key to highlight the style, the text style and press the tab key once style with type w and use the arrow keys to highlight the width press the tab key and type 100 percent okay 100 percent because it says it has to fit it has to fit the full width Okay, 
So that is why we set it to be 100%. So see here, the cell or the picture is fitting the entire cell. Okay, so now let's go back to the design. Save your file then and there. Okay, now next, moving on to the next step in cell D. Place in cell D the text N23 text. So cell D is right above um, cell F. Okay, so place the cursor in cell D. Go to your folder and open the text file N23 text. All right, from here, you select the content. You copy the content from there and come back and paste your content here. Okay. Paste it here. All right, that's done. Next, place in cell E. Cell E. Okay, that's the cell. Let's place the cursor there in cell E. And then you're supposed to place the text page created by Tawara Web. Page created by Tawara Web. Tawara Web. And then there's a full stop space. Last edited by. Followed by your candidate details. Your name, center number and candidate number. Last edited by by your name, center number, and your candidate number. Okay, place a paragraph break after the full stop in cell E. So there's full stop here. Place the cursor there after the full stop. Split the window again. It shows the cursor there. Okay, so place the cursor there and you're supposed to add a page paragraph break. So break is basically, um, yeah. So the page, a paragraph break is mentioned with the R tag. Okay, so that we will add it here. BR, okay. So it comes, when you close the tag, it automatically shows the slash break tag let's go back to design save your file okay now next select all select select all the text in cells d and e set all the text in cell e and d in style heading 2 h2 highlight the content and here in the format set it to heading 2 the same way in cell e as well highlight and set it to be heading 2 okay save your file again now next use video and source tags to place in cell c okay place the cursor in cell c this is cell c okay yeah that's cell c you're placing a video tag. So place the cursor there, split the window. It shows you where it's supposed to have the video tag. So there is an Amberson NBSP. We don't need that. That is a space there. So highlight that and delete it off. And now um, you can continue typing there. But for you to understand clearly, I do it on... Um, new line okay so both the ways are correct continuing uh, after td right away is still correct so open tag okay before that let me tell you what are the content what are the tags we need so here we need a video tag and then we need controls then we need um source we need error message and then we oh so controls source we need type of the file here so these are the things you need to remember when you are creating a video tag 
Okay, so let's begin. The first one is open a video tag. You see, VI. When you type VI, video appears highlighted. Okay, and press the tab key there. So we are done with video. Mm. And they have mentioned the width and height of the tag. I mean, the video. Okay, so space width is supposed to be 480 pixel 480 and then height is 360 move the cursor after quotation space height 360 okay and then we need to add the controls okay move the cursor again outside the quotation space controls type controls it shows you the control in the list so highlight controls and press the tab key okay so we are done with that width and height controls close the tag and then enter now we will do the source okay so open a tag source tab key space s r c tab key now you click on the browse now you go back to your paper and find the file name the file name you see here the file to be added is n23 feed mp4 okay so here you will have to find that video file in the folder tgs folder and click ok it gets attached okay and then source is done now we need to move on to the type okay space type here this you need to type type in okay so this is a video file slash mp4 move the cursor to the end close the tag enter next is the error message so you need to type an error message display an appropriate text based error message if the browser does not support this video okay so it could be any appropriate error message your browser does not support this video okay and then we are done with the video tag so any tag we open we need to close the tag Okay, so open tag and type a slash, it automatically closes the video tag. Okay, so save your file. We come back here, click here on the design. You see it shows uh, a gray area, which means there is video added. The video doesn't appear here because we are still designing. Okay, so at the end, I'll show you how it looks. Okay, let me do this step and I'll show you how the video looks on the browser. Attach the style sheet. Attach the style sheet. The style sheet is already given. You just need to attach it to this web page. And the name of the style sheet is N23 TGS. So to attach format CSS style, attach style sheet and browse for the file. N23 TGS. Click OK. OK again. So the style sheet is attached. Now, Let's save the file and check it out in the browser. To check in the browser, file preview in browser and choose Chrome. I choose the browser Chrome. Okay, there you have the video there. Okay, so the video is added. There, it plays. Okay, now let me go back here and continue with the paper. So we are done with the first part. Save your web page and continue. Open the style sheet N23 TGS and correct the mistake in the CSS. So let's go to our folder and open the style sheet. Okay, the style sheet. Open the style sheet. Okay, there you have the style sheet. Edit the style sheet to meet these specifications. Okay, instead of editing, I'm going to delete everything and we will start from scratch. 
okay so here they are talking about tables in the beginning so whenever they are talking about tables you need to talk you need to know two things the first one is the table itself and then the next is td td is table data okay that is all the contents uh, within the table inside the table that is table data okay whereas table is the contents or elements that are external outside or on the borders okay that comes under table so now you need to differentiate which of these comes under table tag and which of these comes under td tag okay so the first one let's see here tables must be center aligned tables must be center aligned within the browser window so they are talking about the margin of the table okay so that margin is going to be under table tag okay so it's going to be here so they are talking about table so margin we'll talk about the margin so it has to be aligned center so we need to specify the margin left and right okay we need to give a measurement from the left and right only then it will be aligned to the center so that's done and then the next thing we're talking about is it has to fit the tables must fit 85 percent of the browser window again they are talking about the width the entire width of the table so that again comes under the table tag so here they are talking about the width okay that's under table tag next they are talking about the borders and grid lines so borders border is the outside border so that's going to be external okay so borders will come here and then grid lines are the lines within the table inside the table so those comes inside the td tag okay so border appears here and grid lines are also the borders for the cells right so that comes inside the td tag okay next they're talking about tables must have padding of 20 pixels padding means the uh the space the space uh in between the table i mean in between the cell border and the cell content okay if there is a table if the if there is a cell the space in between the cell border and the cell content okay that is called as padding so again it is inside the table so that's going to be under td tag so padding comes here all right that's all about save table so now let's design the table tag first okay so let's go back here and let's start typing the table table okay the first thing we're going to talk about is margin okay so open a curly bracket margin we need the margin left or right first either one of them okay i choose it to be margin left tab key we set it to be auto okay semicolon you can continue okay you can either continue or you can just uh, do it on the next line then margin right again we set it to be auto so we are done with the first part of the table we are done with this next is the width width they say it's supposed to be 85 percent enter width 85 type 85 percent semicolon okay then that's done next is the border they say borders must not be visible so enter border must not be visible set it to be zero pixel 
semicolon close the curly bracket okay so we are done with table move on to the next line now we will start with table data td td the first one we're talking about we'll talk about is the border border again must not be visible so it's going to be zero space open curly bracket border set it to be zero pixel and then next is padding that is a space between the cell content and the cell border okay so that's supposed to be cell must have a padding of 20 pixels so enter padding set it to be 20 pixel semicolon and close the bracket okay so we are done with the first and the second part that is table and table data is over we are done with table tags okay now moving on to the next one the background color of the web page background color always appear on the body tags okay now we use this part you can type at the same time uh, if you're not sure of the coding you can use this new css rule you have a plus sign i hope you guys can see this okay you have a plus sign uh, a box with a plus sign new css rule click on it selector type set it to be tag and selector name leave it to be body because we're going to work on the background click ok and select the category to be background and set this background color remember the color code must be in the format of red green and blue this has to be followed rgb okay first red followed by green and then blue okay so now let's go back here rgb it's gonna be begin with a hashtag begin with a hashtag so r red is a a and then g g is b e b e and then blue component is d8 d8 okay so this is going to be your uh, color code so come back here background color type in the color code there under background color so for the background you just need the color to be added okay so we are done with this part click ok you get the color code for the background okay now move on to the new line the next is style heading one and heading two so let's do heading one first so click on new css rule select the selector type to be tag heading one selector name heading one click ok now here set the browser you must set the browser to select and display the font comic sans ms if this is not available the browser must select and display the font comic sans so let's see if we have this in the font family comic sans ms if you don't find it here i'll show you how to do that if you do not find it here click on edit font list and click on available fonts find for comic comic sans ms sans ms there okay okay yeah so we have that all right and then click okay now if you see you will have the comic sans ms there choose that and then there is no size mentioned font size the font style is not mentioned it is a font color that has been mentioned h1 the font color is it must be blue with no other color components so from the color palette pick color blue okay pick color blue remember it has to be hexadecimal yeah all color codes must be hexadecimal so we make it hexadecimal add 
two more zeros and an F to it. So it becomes hexadecimal. So blue will have FF, green zero zero, red zero zero again. Okay, so that's it. Click OK. So the same thing has to be repeated for heading two. Yeah, H1 and H2, it is the same uh, color code. I mean, uh, and the uh, font family. So you highlight them, copy and paste it. And remember to change this to heading to H2. All right. If not, you can still do the same step here, creating a new style. Okay. Tag. And instead of heading one, you choose heading two and you do the same step. Okay. Now here, I just noticed here. We will have, we can add sans serif font as well. So go to H1 and um, let me add sans serif also just in case, you know. Comic, comic sans MS and sans serif. sans serif okay so i think this would be better and font family you change this as well here all right all right so we are done with that step there's nothing wrong just leaving it to comic sans ms okay now next so we are done with the style sheet coding next Place your name, center number, and candidate number as a comment at the start of your style sheet. So go back to your style sheet, place the cursor on the first line, enter once and move the cursor. Okay, now the comment has to be in this format. Slash, asterisk, type in your name, center number, and your candidate number, space, star, slash, asterisk, slash. Okay, so this is supposed to be the format of your comment. Okay, this is how your comment should look like. Okay, now let's save your style sheet. I'll save. All right, now you're supposed to provide a copy of your style sheet in your evidence document. Mm. A screenshot of this paste it in your evidence this is going to be step seven step seven and paste the coding make sure the file name and the coding is fully clearly visible okay so we are done with that now display the web page in your browser now go back to your browser tgs okay save your file save your file display in browser file preview in browser chrome and there you have your browser uh, without any borders and uh, the changes that has happened okay so that's it now take a screenshot and place this in your evidence make sure all the pages can be seen all text can be easily read and the address bar is fully visible so um, you need to take a screenshot of this okay now here uh, it's not possible for us to take it into one page let me check if it is possible Mm, if we make it into one page, it might be too small or uh, tiny. So mm, this this paper seems to be okay, not that tiny. So you can take one screenshot. Okay, let's take a screenshot of this. The address bar must be visible. And paste this in your evidence document. This is going to be step eight. Okay, step eight, paste the screenshot of your web browser there. Okay, next, display the HTML source in your editor. 
Take a copy of the HTML source and place this in your evidence document. Okay, now go back to your HTML uh, Dreamweaver. Click on the code winner tab here and select your coding. Copy the coding here and paste this in your paste it in your evidence. So this is going to be step eight again. Paste your coding. So you have the coding pasted there. Okay, so that is the end of the paper. So finally, for web page, you will have to print this um, evidence. Okay, so I hope that was clear. See you guys in another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.